Hi, in a previous video, I, uh, when I was doing a connection between Arduino and Microsoft Excel, uh, someone asked me, well, can you do that with databases too, like for example, Microsoft Access? So um, in this video, I'm going to show you a simple example where we're going to send something from Microsoft Access and then return it back to the Arduino. The code for the Arduino side is actually quite simple. All it does is it's a low world when it first turns on. And then it's got, got in the loop here, we are waiting to receive any text and any text that we do receive, we will then, after the new line character, kick back what the text was as it sort of echo back and we'll put the, the words was received on after that. So if we run that up in the serial monitor, let's see what that looks like. So here's my hello world when I first kicked off, off my Arduino. Now I could say maybe send it dog and I'll get dog was received or I could send it test and I'll get test was received. So basically that's what it's doing. On the Microsoft Access side I've got, just created one simple little table that's only got an ID field and a place for rest, uh, storing whatever received text we get back from the Arduino. I've also created this piece of macro code here. So Basically it says COM3, this is the, what my Arduino happens to come up as connected in when I'm connecting with my uh, Arduino tools and I'm using 9600 board and basically this code what it's going to do is it's going to send whatever text is written here with a ca uh, character 10 on the end which is I think new line or it might be carriage return, I can't remember and uh, it sends that message out and then the rest of it is waiting for an answer and building up the response string that it receives and then once we get our sort of carriage return character to end the, um, the message, which is what will be on the back end of it, then we have an insert statement which we're going to run, which is going to insert that value into that receive text uh, column in the table. So let's see what happens when we give it a go. So I'm going to push play here and we can see, oh, you're about to append one row. So I'm going to say yes. So what has actually happened now is if I refresh the table here, I can see this address reading was received text, which is what we sent. Now if I change the text that I'm sending to something else, like this is my text, and I run this macro again, it hits the Arduino, comes back, and if we look in our table, we should have another row with that text in it. So that's a simple little example of two-way communication between Microsoft Access using Visual Basic macros and an Arduino. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it interesting.